just want you to know. Let me love you. Let me love you. Hi everyone, Petal is less here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you guys another DIY. I'm going to bring out some Kleenex box holders or tissue box holders, whichever way you want to pronounce it. <laughs> so let's get into the items that we'll be using for this DIY, you guys. Okay, when I was in Dollarama the other day, I found these wooden Kleenex box holders. Aren't these nice, you guys? And the bottom opens. So you can put your, your Kleenex box in them. I got two of those. And I found these small mirrored pieces, you guys. Small square mirrors. And there's an adhesive on the back. And this is so nice. This is a new item at Dollarama. And we'll be using some silver paint. And we'll be using some of our bling wrap. And we'll also be using this spring wrap. The, it's kind of like flowers, I call them. This is really nice. I'll be using that also. And we have our tools and our glue gun. All right, everyone, let's get started. All right, we're going to start with our silver paint. And we're just going to paint our Kleenex box older with two coats of paint. Both boxes with just two coats. Okay, so now our box is dry, so we're just going to bling it out with this silver round bling wrap. And right here, we're just going to put one strip because that's the part that opens. Now we're just going to um, take the strips of our mirrored squares and put them along the top part of our box. And please use an exacto knife to cut these mirror pieces, not the scissors. The scissors breaks them, which I've tried. So you have to use an exacto knife and just slice it and cut them. It's very easy and simple. Now for the top part of our box, I just um, measured out the, the bling wrap and I cut out the circles that were um, within the opening of the Kleenex box. Yeah, and then we're just going to glue them down. I'm just thinking about you. Always dreaming about you. And now for our second box, I ended up painting it white, you guys. Is it a silver? And we're going to use the E6000 and our mirror pieces and bling out this box. Now, I do find it better with the E6000 to put these mirror pieces down. So that's why I switched from the glue gun and using the E6000. And you just measure them out and put them down. Like I said, use the X Acto knife. And um, cut your pieces, which is very simple to cut. It's not hard at all. And you just lay them down, and we're gonna mirror out our box, you guys. And now for the top part of our box, we're using the bling wrap. And same thing, I just laid it down and cut out the opening 
and then we're just gonna glue it down. And I just need you to keep your eyes on me. I just wanna tell you that you're, you're my perfect girl. And baby girl, for the sides of the box that are not touching with the mirrored pieces, I'm just gonna cut some bling wrap in strips and just glue them along going all the way around the top and down the sides just to give it a more finished and neat look and here's our finished look you guys our glamorous blinged out <laughs> Kleenex box holders or tissue box whichever you prefer to call them I think they look very nice all blinged out oh the mirrored one is my favorite it turned out really nice I'm really surprised at how it turned out it looks lovely it looks so nice with the extra bling on top and I'm glad I painted it white instead of silver I think it looks better with the white and our silver one here looks very nice too with our flowers bling. I call it flowers. <laughs> I like how they're shaped round and nice like little flowers. It's all blinged out. I love that one too. But the mirrored one is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Which one is your favorite? The silver one or the mirrored one? Yeah, let me know in the description box below. <laughs> all right, everyone. I hope I've inspired you with another lovely DIY for you to do with for your home. And thank you for coming on and seeing the DIY that I did today. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already so you can come back and see more of the DIYs that I come up with to share with you guys. And remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Bless. Bye-bye, everyone. And if there's anything I want you to know Oh, I mean, just for you to know Just for you to know Send me why you Just for you to know